Okay, one note between machine coordinates and work coordinates. I've had people say that you don't necessarily need switches on a machine to home it. Well, that's true. You can run it to a certain point and say, hey, this is home. But if you don't have switches, there's no way to accurately put the spindle exactly at that hole after you turn the machine off. Unless you completely run the gantry all the way against the X till it won't move anymore and all the way against the Y till it won't move anymore and tell the machine that's home, you will never reach that hole repeatedly after a power cycle. That's why you do need switches to home the machine. Once they're homed, once you use the switches to home it, you're in machine coordinates. You tell the, the software how far it can travel this way and how far it can travel this way. And then the machine knows exactly where that spindle is anywhere on this table. Without limit switches, you can't do that. Now, work coordinates is a cheat that I get away with with this fixture. You'll notice there's a hole right here. And before I started homing the machine, I would take the bit and I would run it down till it was just in that hole. And then I would zero X and Y. And that put me in work coordinate mode, G54. From that point on, then my fixture table would work. So you can either run the machine in work coordinates or machine coordinates. If you're going to do machine coordinates, you need limit switches to, to home with. If you're going to use work coordinates, you can just find where you want your origin to be, zero it out, call that G54, and go. One note, when you start mock software up, it thinks it's all the way over here at home. And that's okay, just as long as you treat this position as it's this position. And just use the machine in work coordinate mode.